Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sword Coast Legends. I am Psycho Gold of Psycho Gold Gaming, and today we will be beginning a playthrough of Sword Coast Legends, funnily enough. This game has had a bit of an interesting release history. It had quite a lot of hype leading up to its release, and as per usual, when a game gets a lot of hype when it was released, people were disappointed that their own personal hype wasn't lived up to. I have deliberately not played the game up until now, because I knew that there were going to be a lot of updates coming, I knew a lot of things probably weren't going to work simply because of the sheer scope that they were aiming for, and uh, unfortunately it looks like I was right. They shot off a lot of rounds but didn't quite hit all of them. Since then there has been a massive amount of updates to the game with even more still on the way, however I've decided that the game now does at least look like it will hold my interest long enough for me to play through the campaign. Now this game has quite a few things to talk about, um, which is why we're sat in the main menu. The first one being that there are two completely different types of games basically within this package. The first one is a pretty much standard affair whereby you gather a party and venture forth. No, whereby it's an isometric uh, view and it is you and your three companions or three other players. Um, going forth and questing pretty much like a standard RPG. However, where this game is different is you may have noticed that there is a mode called The Dungeon Master. And this mode allows you to get some pretty cool looking dice. Now, this mode allows you to create your own modules, campaigns, and this is where some of the hype has failed. But again, I think that some people's expectations were set slightly too high. But some of it was the people marketing it didn't realise that if they said it can do something, that people will actually expect them to be able to do that. Um, that is the fault of marketing people, not the fault of the developers. Uh, I really wish marketing people would not promise the salt of the earth when the game developers are in the background crying to themselves to sleep. Um, I will be featuring the dungeon mode, and I will probably be creating my own modules, and you will also be able to play through other people's modules. We'll get there in the end. Um, as you can see here, there is 106 pages of people's created content, and they have the ratings, and the amount of times they've been downloaded, the name, and the author. Now, I actually did try and make my own module a while back, but... I got quite a way into it and then realized that I was making it in the testing weekend um, and it hasn't carried over. I knew that, but that is slightly annoying because it means I can't show it off and I haven't yet summoned up the energy to remake it. However, I do plan to play through some of the other people's Journey to Neverwinter sounds like fun. Pig and Mystery seems to have been downloaded a lot. So if you click on it, you get a description, you get the statistics that we already know. When it was last updated, it doesn't need a DM and it is editable by others. Now, doesn't need a DM is quite important because in this mode it's actually more like a five player game because the idea was, I can't say is because of the amount of updates it has, but it was that four people would play as the heroes and then the fifth person would play as the dungeon master and it would try to emulate what it's like to play Dungeons and Dragons on paper. Now, I'm not a Dungeons and Dragons player, but I have seen it been played and I have, I think I played it once at a big event. Um, I honestly don't think there is a way for video games to replicate the freedom that you get on pen and paper, but the difference there is is that you're playing a game as opposed to using your imagination. So I personally think that trying to make the two similar is pointless. They're two completely different experiences. I think that Dungeons and Dragons will never be fully replicated in a PC game because for starters, things like daily powers probably wouldn't hold the interest of gamers. Um, the idea that you'd have to wait until the next day to actually use power as opposed to a cooldown uh, in this modern age where we have Call of Duty and Battlefield or Battlefront ruling the downloads and ruling the sales things like Dungeons & Dragons, it's just not their day at the moment. Now don't get me wrong, I think these games are making a comeback. I mean, look at Kickstarter, Divinity, Original Sin 1 and 2, you've got Pillars of Eternity, this, 
Um, quite a few old school games are, are beginning to come through the cracks, and you never know. You never know. Things change all the time, especially in the gaming world. But for now, I think that we're a long way away from getting that perfect Dungeons and Dragons PC experience. Plus the fact it would take forever to code because you can test it with a million people but the millionth and oneth person will play the game completely differently and complain that it doesn't work because it wasn't programmed for his specific thought process. And he managed to break it. And I'm usually that guy. Um, but in this case, I'm not trying to break the game. So yes, let's go back. Go to the player mode, which is what we will be doing. Now, I've already made a character. Boom! There he is. He actually looks more heavily armoured than most level 1 characters that I know. Now, I will point out, I haven't played the game at all, so I will be learning this as I go. I've deliberately not played the game, so that other people can see how easy the game is to pick up, or not, as I'm hoping the case isn't. But, um, normally you would make a character, but I've already done that. And I'm not going to show off the character creation screen because I'm going to be doing that when I show off the dungeon module creation um, because it's the same character creation screen and you can create characters with the same level of detail that you create your own character depending on what you choose as a base. But again, we'll get into that at a later date. Now then, I'm not going to join anyone else's. However, as the playthrough progresses, it is possible that we may be joined by... Uh, another person or other people um, because several friends of mine and my brother have this game so I already know that there is a good chance that this solo playthrough may turn into a multiplayer playthrough which would be great fun provided we can all keep the same schedules but hopefully it will be able to handle the fact that sometimes I'll be on my own and sometimes I'll have friends most games can these days this difficulty is for beginners or players who just want to experience the story. Friendly fire is disabled, while well, as I'm currently controlling all four characters, probably not required. This difficulty is for players with adventuring experience and could require infrequent tactical pause in play. Friendly fire is set to 50% of normal damage. What's hard? This difficulty is for the truly brave and will require tactical pause in play. Friendly fire is set to 100% of normal damage. Well. It has been a long time since I've played this type of game, so I don't think we're going to go with hard. I will play through the game on hard, but probably going to wait until the upcoming expansion because I want to make a completely different character class once we've got all the classes and all the types of races you can pick because I'm a human, I'm a fighter, and we're going to see how long that lasts before I get bored of being a fighter because I'm normally a magic character. But since I know one of the companions that you get is a magic character, I wanted to try and balance it, but I honestly don't know what I'm doing. We'll see how well I go as we go. Well, I can't seem to do anything with those open slots, but I assume that would be where people would no. <laughs> I wonder if I leave it open to friends, whether or not people can just pop in. I eh, probably could, but we'll play it solo. Back. Begin the game. You know, I uh, I once read the same thing in a in a fortune cookie. Legends tell that after the time of troubles, the elven goddess Sehanine Moonbow wept for those divine souls that fell in the gods' war. From her eyes fell the moon tear. A relic said to contain a moat of Sehanin's divine power. Divine power. The moon tear was hidden by the elves, but not forgotten. A century ago, two brothers, one gentle and scholarly, the other brash and courageous, sought to find the lost relic. Find the lost relic. They founded an adventuring guild Relax. called the Order of the Burning Dawn, and sealed their purpose with an oath to, with an oath to find the moon tear and use it to bring light to a world filled with darkness. Not long after they sealed the pact, both brothers were lost, and the guild's original purpose was lost with them. With them. Today the guild offers equipment, shelter, and paying work for adventurers looking to do a little good while they make a little coin. You are one of the Burning Dawn's newer recruits, 
charged with escorting a small merchant caravan along the high road between the city of Neverwinter and the lawless town of Luscan. It has been an easy journey thus far, aside from the vicious nightmares that have plagued your sleeping mind since the caravan left the city. Bad dreams are common on missions fraught with danger, but you've never had nightmares quite like this. Hmm. Well, if it's sleep battles they want, I'm used to that. The inland road trade route known as the High Road. Ah, I'll get to Scotland before you. Passing through Neverwinter and Port last long way. This portion veers away from the coast through a small set of craggy hills. Still about a day's ride to Luskin for most caravans. This area is an ideal resting place before continuing on through more treacherous terrain. Don't know why the intro cinematic was struggling. This rig can play a lot more powerful things than this, provided it's optimized correctly, but it's a cinematic that shouldn't normally matter. Ah, you're finally awake. You were scaring the horses. You were thrashing around in your sleep. The trail boss thought you were possessed. I am. Um, I had a strange dream. You too. Bellamy said he had the same dream I did. But I figured that damned halfling was just messing with me like he always does. I don't know who this halfling is. I know. I ask myself the same question at least four times a day. Full of jokes he is, but he can't take it as well as he dishes it out. He's like an angry rabbit, that one. All hissing and gnashing of teeth when you rub him the wrong way. But he's a damn good soldier and I'm glad to have him here. That nightmare I had makes me think we might be needing his blades in the coming days. Eh, yeah, more than likely. I'm sure that dream didn't mean anything. Aye. Never put much stock in dreams and nightmares. Even if they do feel as real as the ground we're walking on. Nightmares aside, we got work to do. Got to find that fool halfling and get this caravan packed up and ready to move to Luskin. Hmm. <laughs> what do we have left to do? The merchants are breaking camp as we speak. Most wagons are tied up and ready to go. We got a few stragglers that might need a hand getting ready. Bellamy went up ahead to scout the road. Haven't heard from him in a little while. He was cranky with a headache when he left, so I'm guessing he picked a fight with one of the trail scouts up there. Ah, that's so Bellamy. Bellamy would pick a fight with a wall if he thought it was in his way. Aye, so you know my concern then. Maybe go up ahead along the road and see if you can find him. We ain't got all day, and if he manages to hurt someone, it ain't coming out of my share. The ability trees have changed. Your points have been refunded. Oh. Okay then. Luckily I'm level one, so that's not really going to affect. Oh god damn it. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the character screen. Much earlier than anticipated. As you can see, I have incredible strength, a bit of dexterity, some good constitution, not very bright, not very wise, but I have charisma. So like life, that's all you need. Now, my abilities. Oh my god, this took me forever to do the first time round. There are a lot of abilities, which I'm happy with, but it does mean that I can't for the life of me remember what I picked. So you can pick from Battle Monster, Champion, Two Weapon Fighting, Great Weapon Fighting, Protection, Martial, which I, I assume is Martial Arts in Disguise, Archery, Skills and Proficiencies, and back to Battle Master. Now, I'd like to tell you that I made a character um, with certain set of skills. Skills that can be a nightmare for people like you. No, but I can't, because I can't remember what on earth I picked or what I did, but I'm fairly confident I had some great weapon fighting. Dashes forward and strikes a foe before they can react, dealing 7 to 21 slashing damage. Now that looks like a two-handed weapon to me that I'm holding, so... Maybe perhaps I should check that before I do that. No, it's definitely a two-handed weapon, so we're going for it. Or I would do if it had stayed where I was. Not going to do any archery, because that defeats the whole point of this character. I'm not going to worry about upgrading it to charge level 2. Let's see what else we can get. Shield Bash. Don't have a shield. Marshal. 
Strikes a foe with victorious fervor. Dealing 7 to 21 slashing damage. Performing this attack. Oh, restores 7 to 8 hit points. Now that I like. Hurls a spear attached to a chained enemy. Ta ha ha ha. Get over here. Problem is that's kind of pointless now that I've just got a charge attack. What's in this wallet? What's in your wallet? Grants proficiency bonus when attempting to perceive hidden things. Revives an ally recently falling in battle. I already know that. I already know that. Oh, I'm proficient. Ah, this is all the stuff I know. That makes sense. I don't need to lockpick, hopefully. Draws upon an inner well of stamina to heal and gain 8 maximum hit points. The increased hit pool... No. The increased hit point pool lasts for 12 seconds. Calls up orders to a nearby ally, granting combat bonuses. I don't have any allies yet, but I am the commander, so I'll learn that. Stabs viciously at foe's knee or foot, dealing 721 slashing damage and causing them to suffer a 50%, no, minus 50% penalty to their movement speed. Completes a precise strike that always lands, grants the use the ability to throw opponents off balance, all the attacks now have a 2% chance to knock the target down. Two weapon fighting or dual wielding, yeah, as much as I do like dual wielding, this is not that kind of character. Requires level 2, I'm not level 2. Requires level 6. I am far from level 6. I still don't have shield bash. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whether a grizzled veteran or a squire in training, most professions have some degree of martial training. Yeah, why not? Let's take the one that heals us. That sounds like a good shout. Ability points remaining two. Do I spend them or do I wait? I might actually wait since I don't actually know what I'm doing. That one sounds good. Grants a follow up attack after a killing blow. This additional attack hits anything with an 180 degree cone, 3.5 long. Yeah, I think we'll wait and gain that. Or should I upgrade charge and then. Ah, do I get a point when I level up? I don't know. Let's take a risk. Okie dokie. So, that moves the screen. Well, that's not what I want to do. Options. Because this is all changed as well. Now, I don't think any of this I'll need to change. Yeah, well, I want that on. Camera knows automatically scrolls, yes. Locks the cursor to the window during gameplay. Well, I'm in full screen, but that would be useful, I admit. Disable window start key. I don't know. Okay, that's an interesting option. Yeah, there's a lot of options if you hadn't guessed. I'm not going to worry about that. Automatically pause the game when you lose your current target. Mm. We won't turn that on for a minute. I don't think any of this will need to be turned on for a minute. Although, I wouldn't mind the game pausing when a party member dies. At least that way I'll know. Good amount of options. Um, disable, no. Well, that was a noticeable difference. Hi, hi, Ultra! Oh, wow. I actually thought that they were turned down, but they're actually at full. Although well, they've been turned down. Hmm. Default keyboard type. Toggle tactical mode is space. Left alt is show all interactions. Toggle the chat menu. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather that be... It's mm, annoying. So how does one move? And do stuff by clicking, obviously, you fool. But surely there's a way to hold... Ah, let's go with the usual approach. Oh, 
Okay, this is going to take some getting used to, so... Nah, we can play it like this. Let's talk to Tolan. Ah, good morning. I heard you and the others had a rough night. I can spare a few ships or curative tincture to help wake you. Um, why not? Any time. I need my guards alert. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The high road may be the most travelled route into Luskin, but in my twelve years I can count the number of times we go through without incident on one hand. And I lost a finger in a fishing accident. Well played, sir. Well played. We'll get you to Luskin. Uh, yes, you will take me at my word. Stop talking with me, I wish to move on. Hasn't. Ooh! She has a book go. floating over her head. I feel I should talk to her. I thought the roads near Neverwinter were rough, but this is something else. At least I'm finding some interesting herbs! My god. Do you sell any goods? Um, you're from Neverwinter? I am, though I'm questioning why I ever left. Me too, love. Me too. These supplies are going straight to Luskin. I guarantee I'll get a better deal there than from some shifty sellsword. Indeed. The hell's a shifty sellsword? Anyone who asks for a discount on medicine is suspects. It costs what it costs, and that's it. I'm sure that Bellamy is a fine fellow, but a little too eager for the herbs, if you know what I mean. Haha, <laughs> I know what she means. You know what she means. Um, 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 he's not like that, he's just precious with his coin. Probably so, but I still don't know who this person is. <laughs> I'm sorry about that thing I said about his mother. Will do. I should be going. Goodbye. Okay. Ooh, another person. I know, I know, we're leaving soon. But just like I told everyone else, I'm not going anywhere without my brother. The caravan will have to live without me. Perhaps I can help you find him, sir. I'll be carrying an ancient elven antique. Very valuable. I need it. Oh, and him too. Hmm. I wonder if that idiot is trying to. He must have gotten lost out there and can't find his way back. It's okay, we will save him. I'll be honest, it doesn't sound like he's that concerned about his brother. <gasps> I have a side quest, OMG. Side quests are displayed in your quest log, just below the main quest. Hit J to open the journal, or select it in the pause menu to review all active and completed quests, and choose which side quests you'd like to track. Well, I don't exactly have a lot of quests right now. But we appear to be tracking all quests. Yes, up. Ah, oh, someone else with a book. Oh. Could this day get any worse? Never say that. My apologies. My dear Sarah is missing. Why am I always picking games where I have to do all the voice acting? I'm not a voice actor, and I'm certainly not doing a good job. She must be in the forest, scared out of her mind. If you find Sarah, please return her to me safely. My cart won't move an inch without her here. Yes, alright then. The cook. You couldn't even be bothered to, to name the cook. You lazy, lazy developer. Oh, and now it's following my character. Okay then. This is going to be an interesting playthrough. Hello, my good friend. Why not take a moment from your busy morning to take a look at my stock? Yes, he's from Transylvania. Live with it. Sure, I'll take a look. I've got no money, but why not? Oh no, I've got 60 coins. Hell yeah. I've got some... Coffee. Oh, it increases my movement speed. Just like real coffee. I'm... So despite looking cool, what you're telling me is, is I'm actually wearing no armor. Excellent. Ah, I could have a shield. Something tells me that's not going to go well with my two-handed sword. The Cowl of Thickness. 
Nimble boots. Yeah, I won't be buying them. <laughs> Could buy the light gauntlets, but they don't appear to do a lot. Is there any way to view them? Examine. Mmm. No. Moving on. No, 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 no. What do you need? Please, you have to help me. They want to kill my dog. Can't believe this is happening. It's all that damn Jessup's fault. Oh my god, these accents are getting worse. Jessup, what did he do? He said my dog Gwen bit him. She's never bit anyone. Either he's lying, or he provoked her. Now Tolan says he has to kill her to protect the rest of the caravan. It's ridiculous. She's been with me for years and never caused a fuss. I'm sorry, anyone listening to this. I truly am. I could talk to Tolan for you. Yes, that'll do. Thank you. Please convince him not to kill her. Who's... Is that a tiefling? It's a shady dealer. Of course it's a tiefling. Morning. I'd hope you'd come by to say hello. We so rarely get to mingle with the hardy folk hired to help us keep us safe on the road. Unfortunate, because you're the only thing standing between us and certain peril. My name is Unpronounceable Something, but my friends call me Birkins. Orophilia Maine. We'll go with that. I hope I can count um, you among that group. Why do they call you Birkins? So many people think it's a name someone made up on a whim, but actually it's an old family name. Ha 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 ha. I got tired of people massacring. I got tired of people massacring Orophilia, decided that Bur Orophilia? Orophilia? Orophilia. Orophilia. Philia. Decided that Birkins wasn't any worse than that. Fair enough. What do you have for sale? Nothing. Awesome. I don't want random people from the caravan fooling about with my valuable items, do I? Ah. Someone else is playing Sword Coast Legends. I bet you any money someone's going to message me in a minute. I should be going. Don't be a stranger. Come back when we're stopped, and I'd be happy to show you my wares. Down, girl. Now then. Is this Tollins fellow somewhere around here? No. No. Onwards. Bellamy. He wasn't very hard to find. Apart from the fact he appears to have killed two people. Don't worry about me. Just taking on a bunch of bandits by myself. All in a day's work for Bellamy Lightfingers. Hmm. Charhild said you were probably starting a fight. Right, that's me. I'm the one starting the fight. All these poor bandits did was try and kill me. I was out here scouting the road and these two idiots jumped me, which was a bastard thing to do since I hadn't had my morning stretch. After the night I had, though, I was ready for a fight. And these two were well trained. Felt good putting them down. Hmm. Why would these guys attack you? No doubt they heard about my prowess and wanted to prove themselves against the Master. <laughs> I don't know. They were better trained and equipped than your average bandit, though. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were hired to come out here. Bum bum bum. We should get back to the caravan. Yeah. These guys weren't your normal starving, no skills, hit like a pillow fight bandits. If there's more of them running around, Jarhild will have her hands full. Oh, I think there's more. Get the spacebar. Boom! To pause, unpause during battle. Use this time to make tactical decisions and select target. Cue abilities, potions or scrolls, and switch to and manage other party members. From the options menu, the game can be set to auto-pause under various conditions. Yes, we looked at them earlier. Very well. Let us zoom in and view our opponents. 
two mercenary recruits. No, three mercenary recruits, just that one looks different. Ah, can I... Is there any point? Oh, he's taking some damage. Let's target against one to hit. Oh. It's too late. It's completely blocked off. Well, I'm so glad I was here to help. <laughs> I can hear Jarheld now. He went around when the bandits attacked. Where was you? Let's go. Try and stop me. Yes. Okay, so how do I turn the camera around? Ah, well. Ah, jar healed. All right. Hmm, two fresh corpses. Hi, there you are. Come for the fun part, have you? This is one hell of an ambush for a bunch of bandits. That's because these are more than mere bandits. They're mercenaries, paid to assassinate members of your guild. Here they come! They never learn, do they? Apparently not. <laughs> oh, no, there is more than two. That makes more sense now. Ah, I remember seeing that in the trailer. Whoa, 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 whoa. You stand before a cleric of Sehanin Moonbow. You're a cleric? You look like a ranger. What can you do? Ah. So you also have Commander Shout. Okay, you bring yeah. you to you. You go for broke. If we don't get to that wizard, uh, so no one will be scared. Uh, 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 Oh, there's a couple more over there than I realised. Why isn't that working? Ah oh, well, we killed him. That's what matters. Guess we won that one. Lady of Dreams, we thank you. Who are you? I am Elidia Mayethelin. Priestess of Sehanin Moomba. I'm so glad I asked. With me is Lerithar Golgrin, my friend and bodyguard. You are members of the Order of the Burning Dawn, right? We're not way off here. No, but your head'll be off in no time if you don't explain yourself, and quick! We're out here searching for a caravan that was attacked just an hour ago. It was being guarded by members of the Burning Dawn. That must be my sister Bren's caravan. Uh oh. And why were you looking for the other caravan? We were hoping we could stop the attacks, or at least rescue the people from the other caravan, but I'm worried we're too late. Maybe there's some way we can help you avoid their fate. We've seen a lot of mercs in this area. I think they must have a base of operations nearby. Some at temporary. I want one in the caves. I don't know where that dwarf is from, but he sounds suspiciously local. Can't leave the caravan undefended. That won't be a problem if I go in there and take them all out first. If Bellamy's so keen on getting into a fight, I can stay here and watch the caravan. Assuming our new friends are on the up and up. Then it's settled. Lerithar and I will join you. This will be a lot easier with four of us than with two. Let's go quickly before they have a chance to regroup. If we do this right, one guard at the caravan will do. Go then, and hurry your arse, so we can get back to the job at hand. <laughs> Stay safe, my friend. Aye. And keep these two alive, Elf. I'm counting on you. Are you people always so slow with your goodbyes? Let's get moving. Before we go, a friend in Luskin gave us this. It's a sending stone, specially enchanted to allow us to speak freely through it for the next few days. Any of us left behind in camp can keep up with what the rest of us are doing. Well, this ought to be fun.
They can't have changed since we started this playthrough, surely. Ah, oh, or do you mean you've changed these guys? Oh, wow, that's going to be annoying. Hey, how come they're all higher level than me? Well, let's be fair, they're the only ones I can pick. So, if we do have a look at these guys... He's stronger than me. She isn't. Whoa! Ever get the feeling that you picked the wrong class? Ah. Healing. You're never leaving my party. And you look like a rogue. Suspiciously like a rogue. Dodges. Hides. Hidden dagger. Yeah, you're a rogue. <laughs> Pops the cork on the wineskin. Oh, yes, I like that ability. Ah, you can also search. Cool. And you've got ability... Really? All of you? No. Abilities have just got a star next to it for some reason. Oh, I've nearly leveled up. Excellent. Could I see something shimmer? Yes, I could. Investigate. The Vest of Comfort. Take all. And let's see if I can work out how on earth we'd look at this stuff. I don't really want to wear cloth. But you guys aren't wearing anything. Oh, but you are. Armor class 7. What, plus 1 to the armor class of what? What I'm wearing? Myself in general? Just see what happens. Ugh. No. I don't even care if it's better. But it is better, I understand. Hmm. Yeah, no. No. Oh. It doesn't do anything, though. Hmm. Okay. Discard a cowbell. Oddly, you feel as if you require more. Very well. I'll take that. Pastry mashed vegetables. A loop. Black oily ointment. Oily ointment. Wow. Hmm. I had quite a bit on them. I don't think I can go this way. Because that's still blocked. Okay, this is annoying me. Two seconds. Ah, Q and E. Yeah, looks like that way. Regroup. Form up. Yes, hundred, I suppose. You can sell it. Expected more. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That sounded like a bad guy. Maybe not. Here comes fire, flask of acid. Uh, the nameless bard. 
always always useful to have. Mercenary Berserker. Uh, and a dire wolf. Hmm, that looks hard to kill. Ah, let's kill the berserker since he appears to be on his own. So we'll stand there. Do you have anything that could take him out? Hmm. Not really is the simple answer. What about you? I'm here. Can I? No. But he's holding. Excellent. Now, if I'm right, excellent. Just in case it wears off, pause the game. Double to search. Double to stout. I want hidden dagger. Hmm. Or do I? Ah, oh, why not? Oh, well, that didn't do as much damage as I'd hoped. Run! Run! Get in there, people! Hmm. That dagger didn't seem to do anything to him. Oh well. Sounds like a plan. Yes. Uh, let's see what happens if we just attack it. I die, probably. It looks rather big. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh, that didn't look good. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, you need to run. Run away. Oh dear. Did we win? Why can't I use any abilities all of a sudden? Oh, great. Come on, we can do this. We got this. No. Oh, well, alright, then you're stabilizing me now. Oh, no, interrupted. Be strong. Ah, you healed me. Excellent. Excellent. Because I've lost. All the... What? Ah. Really? Oh, well. Ah, four ability points. Ooh. That might be worth having. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's get Cleave. He sounds cool. I think we will get that second wind wherever it's gone. There it is. And we'll leave that point for a minute. Calls upon the divines to bless allies within range, makes an attack or a saving throw. Yeah. Skinned pelt of a common wolf. Ah, oh, excellent. She's healing them as her ability allows. Yes. Why isn't there any ambient music? That seems very odd. And we've gone in a circle, haven't we? 
Yes. So let's go back now that we've played with the wolf. Mercenaries. We are going the right way. That looks like a cave entrance of some description. No, it's just a hut. Not Jabba, just a regular. Now, who's got you? Bring him to me. Or not, as the case may be. Yes! What? Ah, oh, it's gonna take a while to learn how all of this works. We don't stab him. Apparently so. Need something? Hmm. Doesn't look like we can get in the hut. That's annoying. Thought we could. Oh well. Moving on. Oh, check out the crate. All right. Oh, a shield. See, if, mm, had I known that you would be a fighter, I wouldn't have, or a two-handed fighter, I wouldn't have done two-handed, but done sword and shield. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a companion that can make use of that shield at some point there. Always useful to have some bread that can heal you. I will. Oh. Jackpot. Sniper. Recruit. Shield. Mercenary. Another recruit. Oh, another recruit. Very good. We shall make plans to attack. We shall engage them in glorious combat. Mary Swaggings is now playing NBA. That's nice for him. But we'll face what? the enemy, that would be a good start. Let's see if I can actually... Oh. oh well, never mind then. Really? Sure, this damage isn't working correctly. This is it. Breathe, friends. We survive. Oh, she's actually got pretty decent again. range. You will pay. Oh, that was. Oh, who did, was that me? Yeah, I think it was. I think that was Cleve. Ah, mercenary's cave. There. That must be where they're hiding. Then that's where we're going. Indeed. These caves are chilly and humid, with air that smells of rotting meat and sulfur. Tiny footprints mixed with the tread of armoured boots in the wet stone on the cavern floor. A fine place for a hideout. But who is hideout? You cannot be certain. <laughs> so yeah. Apart from some problems with getting the abilities to target who I want them to target, seems alright so far. I'm hoping that there's still a few upgrades coming, but we'll see. Ah, nice and chilly in here. Could almost take a nap. You go ahead. I can take down these mercs without you. Nice to see everyone getting along. What? Well, look at that. Someone's been preparing a feast. I bet severed hands are great with... Yeah, I can't even finish the thought. I know that ring. That... That's Kallik's hand. He 
was in the squad guarding that other caravan. Damn these people! Whoever is responsible for this will pay with their lives. And I'll be the one to collect. We Angry, have to isn't he? Our heads about this. If we go charging off for revenge, there's no way we'll survive. Yeah, fine. Just don't get in my way when the time comes. Yes. Ah. Ah. So he moves slower when he's searching. I won't worry about that for a moment. Hold. I think you should send me ahead. I've got an itchy feeling. We might have traps nearby. <laughs> sure. Funnily enough, I was so glad I sent you ahead. All right. Let's try this again. If you say so. Oh, I see. Takes a couple minutes, does it, to actually work? Can you disarm it? No sweat. Excellent. Sneaking around. Well, I know there's bad guys over there. Let's have everyone regroup over there. to press. Your attempt to hide has been foiled by a perceptive enemy. BLAST THAT PERCEPTIVE ENEMY! Well, now we're in trouble. Dodge is quickly out of the way, increasing all damage resistance by 50% for 4 seconds for the next 5 seconds. Yeah, I think we need to do that. Disengage. Get the hell out of dodge. You will pay! Do we a scorpion impression quickly? Or not? How's a spear attached to a chain? Click it, I select it. Why does it not do it? I must investigate this matter further. Anything over here? No. Oh, yeah. huh. well, he looks like a friend. Your orders? No, I still want all of you. Ugh, oh, really? I hate traps. Aren't you one of the caravan guards? My damn brother must have sent you. Yes. Good old Wilfred Brewbanks. All he cares about is that elven antique in my pack. It's worth a fortune to the right kind of buyer. Hm. And you were stealing it? That was the idea, until I got captured by a goblin scouting party and dragged into these caves. Luckily, I was able to kill my guards and get my gear back. Since then, I've been looking for the exit. I'm tired of being my older brother's servant. With the coin I'll get for this antique, I can open my own shop. No more traveling, no more carrying heavy equipment, and no more Wilfred. Ah, uh, well, I don't actually care about the caravan. So maybe I don't have to tell him that I found you. 
I'll give you my shield. No, I'd rather you accompany us. You've clearly better than all of us. You've managed to kill all these goblins without my assistance. I think I'll kill you. Hmm. 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 Nah, I'm not in the mood to kill him. I'll take a shield though. Hopefully it's a decent shield. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a really decent shield, apart from the fact I can't wield it. You could, though. Ah, or are you... Perhaps you can't. Oh. It's not strong enough. Makes sense. Really? Right. Now go where I freaking tell you. Thank you. Well, we've already sprung the trap, so. Enemies ahead. Oh, I've got to stop catching that key. Recruit, recruit, archer. That's a shield mercenary. <laughs> I don't really do well in this whole combat thing, but at least these guys are there to defend me. Okay, so what button am I doing wrong here? Because that didn't actually work. Or does it just do it itself? Well, that's depressing. I understand. Now I also understand why there's a pause feature. You don't target the ability, you target a character and then you cast the ability. Okay. I think I'm going to be pausing a lot. Conjures a flickering flame in the caster's hand, which quickly hurled as an enemy. I haven't seen you do that. Let's do that. Hmm. Okay. Bye. This could be a problem. Yes. Die. I really didn't anticipate this must have been so much of a fight. Ah. Well, at least someone here knows how to kill them. Ah, oh, did you just clean? Ah, I needed that. Ah! Cool. Oh, all right, I'm up. Yeah, admittedly, if you hadn't gone running off, you wouldn't have died. Oh, but I threw the dagger. Oh, wow. Brain. Okay, yeah. So the only reason he went running off is because I told him to throw the dagger, but then the enemy was still targeted. Wow. This is going to take some getting used to. Okay. We're beginning to understand. See, this is this is why I tend not to play games if I've never played them before I record, because then you get to see the learning curve that everyone else... Whoa! Stop. Like remembering that there are traps everywhere. Sounds like a plan. Sure. Hmm. We got this. Right. Now, let's see if I can actually get this to work this time. You're already casting Flying Foe. You will pay. And he's dead. Excellent. All of you. Go over here. The mercenaries haven't come yet. Excellent. Right. What can I do for you? Did 
Divine Strike, no. Let's cast a little fireball at the mercenary. By the light of the moon. And hopefully, we can all get them together. Excellent. Sweet. I'll feel stronger. Really? <laughs> Block and tackle. Pulling that allows one to trade force for distance or to pull a fully armored fighter to their feet after a night at the tavern. Okay. Be lying if I said I understood what on earth that was. If you say so, victory. I like my character's enthusiasm. I would like them to wait for me to tell them what to do, though. Yeah, yeah. Larithel, can you get this door open? It's locked. Well protected, too. Nah, we're not going to be able to pick or bash our way through this. There's got to be a key around here somewhere. Of course. Let's look for someone important. Very well. We shall go. All right. Lead on, rogue. Sounds like Die! a plan. I almost did it before they saw me. Oh, a mercenary captain. Oh, right, I know he's got the key. Away with you! That's it. God, he doesn't. Hmm, actually, no. We better kill him first. Don't worry, we got this. Actually, you revive, you engage. Probably the better way to do it. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't quite know where you thought you were going to cast that from. Maybe we should have kept him alive for questioning. I think we should stick with our stab first, question later policy. It's worked well so far. But there was no option to keep him alive, as far as I could tell, anyway. That looked good. Captain's Curus. Armor class... Th three... So that isn't actually any better. No. Huh. It's not there for anyone. Ironically, I'm the most armoured person here, if armoured class is actually armour. So it's the one problem with not entirely knowing a game. Close. Let's get back to that stubborn door. Uh, 
Ah, the adventure awaits. Sure. Much better. I know. If you say so. Ooh. What have we here? Though it's much too charred to read, you can make out a strange symbol that resembles a fist with an eye on it. This may be on the symbol of Helm. Take this. Take all. Ooh, hey. A nice warm fire. It's almost cozy. If you ignore the bones. There's a parchment. Too much burned away to be sure. But there's a symbol that almost looks like a fist with an eye on it. I'm sure I just said all this. <laughs> Any idea what it might mean? It could be the Merc symbol. Or something the goblins use for their tribe. It looks a little like the symbol for Helm, god of guardians and protectors. I don't see goblins or Mercs worshipping Helm. It's probably some of the stole then dropped. Goblins leave all sorts of things lying around for people to pick up. You're right. It doesn't add up. Let's keep moving. To be fair, it wasn't my idea to stop. Where's that axe? 3 to 12, 3 to 12! Hmm. Hand axe. 3 to 12, 1 to 6. Hmm. <laughs> Requires Garrick to Bellamy. Blast! He saw through my plan! Oh, that looks better. Let's have an axe for a change. We've already got someone with a map with the sword. Oh! That doesn't look too bad. Looks like something out of gauntlet, but doesn't look too bad. It's a mimic. Oh, great. I'm here. Mm. Good charge. Bring it on. This will help. I expected a fight. I expected a reward. Oh well. Oh. What? Is that Gil and Neddy? They were in the other caravan. Enough. My name is Javen Tarmikos. I know you are members of the Burning Dawn, and I know your foul lords call to you in your dreams. Are you prepared to repent for your sins? Please, we don't know what you're... Just tell him. Yes, we repent. Whatever it is, we repent. Just please don't. Silence. Your tongues spit lies, demons. Sir Banagar, grant these abominations the mercy of death. But High Commander, they are defenseless. Do not question me, Knight. The spawn of the Abyss is never without guile or opportunity to do evil. Do as I say. End them. No, please. Now I take my leave of this place. Continue the operation. And make sure none of the Burning Dawn leave here alive. As you will, High Commander. Leave the bodies for the goblins. They are no longer our concern. I advise caution. These men are... They're dead men. That's what they are. <sighs> Whilst that did annoy me, I can't help but agree with Olivia on this one. They're murdering us like animals. You want me to be cautious? You can follow or not, but I'm going to paint this cave red with these bastards. I assume we're following the angry halfling. We will save him from himself if we can. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Okay, that didn't quite work as I'd planned. <laughs> Whoa! Either a bear got loose in here, or your halfling buddies are one man walking meat grinder. From the looks of it, I'd say we could just take the night off. Where do I get the feeling this halfling isn't going to make it to the end of the night? 
well made miniature statue. Awesome. Oh, Jesus. Yes. He really is getting. Oh. Uh... Have mercy on a dying man. Ah, fleeing storm through here moments ago. Gods, I can't feel my legs. I only know we were hard to kill anyone in your guild. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why do they want our guild destroyed? <laughs> Honor a dying man's wish. I have a son in Luskin, his name is Rabil. With me gone, all I have of value is a small silver statue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not the forgiving type. Bye bye. Oh, we didn't actually see me kill him. Oh, fair enough. Oh, rats. I was hoping for more danger. Need some? Where that came from? Oh, I quite like that ability, Cleave. Uh, you called out a fight? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, chest. Dwarven rock salt. Yeah, that all looks cool. <laughs> Potion of fox is cunning. Goddess's name. Attack. No, I said attack. No. Does Reflux. anyone need healing? <laughs> so small. So angry. It's like the opposite of Mordecai from Borderlands. Sounds like Bellamy, all right. We have to find. Fools, you dare approach me? Now you face death. Death and soul devourment. Mm. Soul devourment? Uh, yes, that's completely a word. And you will suffer for your insolence. <sighs> Who am I kidding? My name is Homit Shaw. I'm a necromancer. Not one of the bad ones, I promise. I, I assume you're with that halfling that came through here. I have never seen such anger. Not since I raised Kipper Harple's old cat from the dead. Boy, that cat was mad. Okay. What are you doing here? Uh, I prefer Homit Shaw. Though, you have all the weapons here, so you can call me whatever you like. I was traveling in a caravan from Neverwinter. Yesterday, we got jumped by bandits. Our guards tried to stop them, but there were too many of them. They took the guards captive and dragged some of the dead travelers to these caves. Hmm. They were from a guild. The Order of the Morning Gown <coughs> or something? Burning Dawn? No thanks, I don't drink. Oh. Oh, I could sure use one. I met them. It was uh, Neddy and Gil. And there was this halfling woman. Who, come to think of it, bore a resemblance to the guy who ran through here before. Brother and sister, maybe? Ah, yeah, wonder if that means that she's alive. We never really talked, but I think there was something unspoken between us. Like, we knew something could happen there, but neither of us wanted to open ourselves to being hurt. <clears throat> there was no halfling when your two guildmates were executed. Either she's alive, or they killed her before we got here. Come to think of it, that would explain that halfling's, uh, enthusiastic treatment of these mercenaries. It's all coming together now. Did you come here to rescue the guards? I, uh, well, I'm not going to lie. When the battle was over, I pretended to be dead. It's something necromancers are pretty good at. And then when they started dragging away the bodies, I just... 
stayed dead. Eventually, they dropped me off here. I can't tell if you're a coward or a genius. Definitely both. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Let's go battle some evil. Or whatever you were planning to do. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm going with you. These mercenaries and whatnot must pay. That is what adventurers say in times like these, right? <laughs> oh boy, this ought to be fun. Come now. Haven't you always wanted a little brother? Not like this, Liddy. Not like this. All right. Let's go stop your friend from getting himself killed. Two arms. I pray his abilities are more. Oh my god. Better not be. <laughs> oh, I've never noticed that before. What's that? Conjures a ghostly skeletal hand near the creature within the range. The hand forms an attack against the creature to assail it with the chill of the grave. The target can take necrotic damage and it can't regain hit points. Ten percent chance to cast Hellfire when landing an attack. Ah, never even noticed these abilities. Ah, hang on. Oh, he doesn't have one. Neither do I. Well, that ability is number seven, which probably means what's that number three. Yes. Ray of Frost, Magic Missile, Witch Bolt, Fire Bolt, Sleep. So he's a necromancer who can't actually do anything to do with the dead, apart from that one. All right. Yep. Such senseless brutality. That guy in the armor seemed to think they were demons. If there's a demon here, it's that blasphemy of a knight. Let's find your friend before they do. Ascend. I read that already. Well, I'll be honest, I've liked what I've played so far, perhaps haven't narrated as much as I should, but, you know, learning the game at the same time. I think there's a good point to stop it. Wow, I've just noticed that my bar is just filled with potions. I wonder how close we are to levelling up. Nowhere near, nowhere near, even further away. Wow. So a long way with him. But I can look at his abilities, so he can do arcane. Ah, necromancy. They're not among the most popular of wizards. Oh no! Oh, and Homet. He's out to prove that such skills can indeed be used as a force for good. This must be a tree specifically for Homet, which I am reliably informed has recently become available to all wizards as have any of the characters' skill trees that are for specific characters. So what else can you do? Vampiric Touch. Times four. Ray of Enfeeblement. Oh wow, these abilities all sound so familiar to when I used to play Baldur's Gate. Chilling Touch. Well, please tell me he can at least summon... Yes, thank God for that. Revitalizes a nearby corpse with necrotic energies, animating it to do the caster's bidding for 120 seconds. 300 seconds. Oh! Conjures an undead minion for up to 120 seconds. A minion will match the caster's level up to level 10 and gain bonus to the strength of constitution equal to the caster's intelligence. What a far! Up to level 20. Okay, yep. Helmet, you're never leaving my party. This tree is the only one I'm upgrading. Even though. Lightning. Flame. Manipulator. Hmm. Transmuter. Summoner. Huh. 
Maybe I should have been a wizard. That might be next time. You never know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably going to do it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of the playthrough that is to come with Lorik Stormweaver and his merry band. See you all guys in the next playthrough. Ta-ta for now.